anything that we think young people might like, we put it on the bus and then we can drive the bus straight into the middle of the States and young people can come on and use everything for free. The bus was born out of a desire to be on the move all the time. We didn't want a static youth centre, we wanted to have lots of different places that we'd be able to run youth work in lots of different areas. We've got two buses with a third on the way. It's fitted out with Playstations, with Nintendo Switches, with nail bars, with boxing pads, with a music studio. There's a football project at the same time happening here. We go into schools, we do some mentoring, we help young people find jobs and we really try and get into the heart of communities to create a safe space for them. XLP started in 1996 as a response to some knife crime in South London and from there we've grown. We work across 23 estates with this bus here with over 2,500 young people every year. The young people we work with come from backgrounds where opportunities aren't in abundance. Maybe there's family breakdown or, or poverty or a lack of work. Um, what we're trying to do as XLP is create those opportunities where we see that they're, they're missing out. XLP thrives because of volunteers. Volunteers who come and help write CV writing workshops or come and give some time on the bus. Maybe they help out on football coaching sessions or can help a young person write some music. If you want to get involved in what we do, you can go on our website, xlp.org.uk, and find out how to get in touch with us and start making an impact in your community.